Well, that sucked. I feel empty inside. You gonna go see a different movie? Yeah, let's go. Little Woman was actually good. Go see it. There's this amazing movie that we decided to watch, and I wasn't really excited to watch it, but Gavin was like, oh, we must see it. So I'm like, okay, whatever. It was Little Women. My gosh, that movie was so great. It was between that or The Grudge, and I know damn well The Grudge. <laughs> I, I, I almost I swear. That's okay, it's okay. He let us swear. Just one damn. I'm working on a novel. It is a story of my life and my sisters. Make it short and spicy. And if the main character is a girl, make sure she's married by the end. Ow, Every Joe! Time. Little Woman, simply put, was wonderful. Very well acted, very well written, very well directed. Overall, it's just a solid ass movie. It's, I, I saw it twice. Oh, really? And, yeah. It's very hard to nitpick. Like, I was trying... I was actually trying to find like small little details, like, ha ha, I gotcha. But I couldn't find it. Like, I remember watching it, I was about to think that like the pacing is a little slow, but every time, like when I was in a scene, when I was about to say, it's getting long, the scene changed. And I think that's perfect. I think it's, that's its strongest point. It's a two hour long movie, but it doesn't feel like it. It's wonderfully acted, for sure. Uh, unless you're like one of those there wasn't enough action, Gavin. Oh, speaking of which, someone walked out of our theater and I'm still mad about yeah, it. Why? The movie was amazing. It was so wonderful. The, By the score. Way. Oh, yeah? Oh, just, just the piano. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm crying, BJ. One thing that I was like super impressed on was like color grading and color correction. That was so like perfect. It wasn't too obnoxious, but it wasn't too subtle. It was like perfect because like, that's how you distinguish what time period it's in, and it just like worked seamlessly. And as for Little Woman, we give it four and a half stars. I highly recommend it. <clears throat> we highly recommend it. We highly recommend it. Please go see it. Thank you. You're welcome. Too far. I know. It's not easy for her to close a cabinet. He's incredibly neat. She's brave. He's brilliant. She's He's very, very competitive. competitive. All right, so Gavin, you saw Marriage Story, I didn't. Please lecture me on how you liked this movie. Okay, Marriage Story is an acting movie, what I like to call. It's kind of like Little Woman in that way, where it's just, the whole movie is just actors and actresses just talking, and it's wonderful. It keeps you interested, it's wonderfully paced. It's got great editing, great cinematography. The acting, specifically, like I said, it's an acting movie. Just so good. It cements Adam Driver as someone who isn't just going to disappear after Star Wars. Tell me what Marriage Story is about in like two sentences. It's about a couple going through divorce. However, it's just really well put together and it makes you switch sides. Like at first, you're more on Adam Driver's side. Right? And then towards the end, you realize Scarlett Johansson is kind of, a, kind of as blame as well. Which I think is a real, very realistic take on divorce and relationships. Also, every line of dialogue was not improvised. It was all scripted. See, you told me that before and I still can't wrap my head around that. That seems just insane That to me. does seem crazy. Like nothing, like nothing in the script wasn't bad to be improvised? I guess not. I guess he's just that good of a writer. Marriage Story was a wonderfully told story I'm gonna read you that, that was horrible. <laughs> Marriage Story was quite simply amazing. I highly recommend it, it's on Netflix, four and a half stars. I made a crazy risk to gamble. And it's about to pay off. That's a movie that you watched, but I didn't. Oh yeah, right. I'm gonna see it though. It is such a good movie, Gavin. You are in for a treat. Adam Sandler in this movie, I, I personally think it's his best role ever. And that's crazy because he's not a complete bumbling idiot. Can you believe that? I mean, he's, the character's kind of an idiot, but he's smart, but still an idiot. He's a smart idiot. In just one sentence, I'd say it's just the story 
of a broken man who tries to fix his life in the worst ways possible. It's just such a great movie. The cinematography was amazing. The pacing was pretty much perfect. It just felt like it was at constantly escalating until the very end. And there was this one scene, I don't really want to give too much away, but there was a lot going on at one time and Adam Sandler's character was super stressed out. And the way they directed it and edited everything going on made it very realistic to like, you'd feel stressed out in the movie. I was watching the movie and I'm like, oh my gosh, I am so stressed out right now. The soundtrack to this movie is so, it's such an odd choice, but I think it does the movie justice. It's like kind of techno and a little like, like space-like, which is weird because it's just about gambling and such, but it gives it some flair. But I'm just gonna stop there, but go watch it. Uncut Gems was sincerely a gem. Ugh. We give it... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> We give it stars. <laughs> Definitely four out of five stars. Go and watch it. Okay, so what was the what was the one other movie we saw together? Cats. Oh. Can we talk about another movie? No. Tonight is a magical night where I choose the cat. We have to let the viewers know that this movie is utter trash. You know how musicals where like there's a scene where they sing and there's a scene where they talk. It's evenly distributed and it flows and it works. Cats, straight musical. There's hardly maybe one sentence between each song and it's a catastrophe. Okay, bye. I'm done. All right, yeah, see ya. Cats is literally terrible. It's the only movie Gavin and I have ever walked out on in our entire life. We gave it around 45 minutes, right? So we must give it zero out of five stars. Damn oh, right. but Gavin and PJ, how can you rate it zero stars if you walked out? Stupid idiots. You guys aren't true reviewers. You guys are so mean. You don't understand art. Gavin, you do know that making a third act good doesn't make the entire movie good. Ask a rogue one. That movie is okay. Yeah, it's okay because the last act's amazing. But the characters are utterly garbage. You just got hustled in theaters a few months ago.